Can you share a little bit what life was like before you came here? Hmm. I've been in a tremendous transition phase with a lot of fear, uh, a lot of overwhelm to where it was starting to also impact me physically. And I knew I needed to do something that uh, tapped at a deeper level. Uh, I'm a licensed psychologist by training, so I'm very aware of therapy and other ways of dealing with things. And uh, I knew that that wasn't what I needed. I needed uh, something that was going to hit at a, at a deeper level. How's life feeling like today? Mm. It's uh, the experience has been has been incredible for so many reasons, um, from the beautiful medicine to the the group that was all intended to be here together to work at this time, and uh, the. Uh, the openness that people come in with so I I really feel <laughs> uh, that this was one of the many things that I needed to get me to move to another place and uh, shift to a different way of perceiving the world and how to move forward was this your first time doing something like this mm -hmm. my first time doing ayahuasca I've heard about it for a long time. Uh, I've done a lot of travel to a lot of indigenous cultures because I believe in the importance of us tapping into ancient wisdom, which we've become so far removed from. Um, I have done Combo and Rafe and Sananga before. Uh, so I was uh, a, bit, a bit familiar with some other things. Did this medicine have any lessons for you? Mm. Uh, I really, this time for me here was really about me needing to uh, nurture myself. And that was one of the biggest things the, the medicine gave me. Uh, being in the, the field that I'm in and also uh, navigating a mother with cognitive impairment and losing a father to Alzheimer's. I've, I've been a caretaker professionally, I've been a caretaker personally, uh, and I've kind of forgotten to take care of myself. So it was a lot of, uh, of self-nurturance mm -hmm. and reminding me of all of that. Do you feel like this experience has changed you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, you know, it's a powerful journey and it's, it's also up to the individual though to step into it and embrace it and, uh, uh, and you know, use it as a, a stepping stone to continue the work from here. What are you going to do differently when you get home? Mm. I, uh, <laughs> uh, prior to coming here, part of my dieta was really moving away from a lot of the the, um, the stuff that's going on in the world right now. I got very involved with that and uh, that's going to be continuing on and, uh, and now really adding what needs to be added is filling that space with with joy, with um, a sense of interest in things again and uh, looking at you know, what those different pieces are and you know the big thing is spending time with my my mom uh, doing things that we enjoy and and, uh, and not letting not letting the moment of now pass me by because I've been doing that mm -hmm. what would you tell someone who's on the fence about doing something like this mm. Mm. Um, I think it's an, it's an interesting question. I think, again, uh, having been a psychologist for years and how I worked with people is really uh, 
that the power lies within them and that uh, <laughs> that it takes it it takes courage to do this and if you're if you're thinking about this uh, it means there's something stirring within you and I would encourage you to explore that and if you decide to do this that you really take the time to do it seriously and reap its wisdom would you recommend this retreat to others and if so to who <laughs> uh, absolutely uh, I think that uh, I actually found this retreat through a friend of mine who was here in June who I never would have thought would have <laughs> done something like this uh, but someone who thoroughly vets and I think that there's a lot of retreats like this out there in terms of it's you know the popularity of these and uh, some of the many things that stood apart for me and, and other people who are here with me and my friend is the impeccability integrity with which they take the whole process and um, and the seriousness of the screening and really having conversations with people about what you know what it, this is involved with and uh, you know you definitely know that you're in a safe space, a place that you're being taken care of. Uh, it's a nurturing, wonderful environment uh, with an incredible group of, of staff and uh, medicine healers. So know that you will be in very good hands if you choose here. Thank you. Do you have any feedback for us on how we might improve? Mm. about the only thing I can think of is uh, I I'm not a big egg person I wish there were more <laughs> options on the last day for food that's, that's about it but really all the all the special little details of um, the special notes and the wonderful food and the, and the, the juice bar and um, you know there were things that, that came up here and uh, Anything that you needed, uh, they made sure you had it. And so, uh, I, I, this is, couldn't ask for a better nurturing place. If you could describe this experience in one word, what would it be? Mm. Mm. Probably transformational. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.